Welcome back. This is Bobby O from Bobby's Tech World. And today, I'm only going to be going over is just a simple video on flashing downloading basics, okay? I've gotten a lot of uh, questions lately about how to download some of the things that I asked them to uh, flash and put on their, their phone or their device when they have an issue. So I'm just going to go over a real simple setup. Where does it download? Checking your MD5, making sure the file you've downloaded is correct. So let's go ahead and begin. Now, I'm going to go over here to XDA, okay? I'm going to go on back just to, let's, let's say, um, oh, excuse me about that. Let's go ahead and restart the server here. Must have been pressing the buttons a little too fast, but that's no big deal. All right. So let's say you go to here. All right. Like this tablet here is running on the um, Android Ice Cold project. Okay. So I've been told, hey, look, here's a test build for Flow. Let's go ahead and install it. So when you go here to install, you're going to see, like, see this type of web page, this dev host, um, kind of like where they're at right now. You're going to see something like this download free app with, you know, no, cancel that. Okay. Now you're going to see this jargon here. Now, if you have like an ad blocker installed on your device, maybe some of these things won't show up. But to let you know, right here in the middle, this is the actual file. See, let me go ahead and, no, we don't want to install that. We want to go ahead and back out of that web page you try to send you to. There's a little black one, right? Square rectangle download right there. That's where you want to go. But, here, I want to show you this. Okay. This right here, that's your MD5, okay? This is your download, not all this other stuff around here. All right, sometimes when you hit this download, it's going to bring pop-ups, and I'll show you. Okay, well, right now, it gives me the option to go to Chrome right away. That's what you're looking for, just once, and it should tell you starting to download. That's exactly what I'm looking for, AICP Flow KitKat, all right? This dev host website can be a little tricky sometimes when you're clicking on stuff, and it'll keep running you through another page. All right, so that's not what we're what we're wanting to do. You need to go right there in the center and make sure you get that instant download. And then as it's downloading, double check. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and stop it because I don't need it on there. I've already downloaded it. Another place that people um, go is uh, let's see here, is the developers. Um, well, yeah. Um. Let's see here. Well, currently I don't have a spot for one of those right now. I'll tell you what. Let's go back. Then we're going to go here to... Just bear with me here. Right here. We're going to go to this, this link that I've got here for upgrading your, your S4. All right, we're going to go to the beginning, and now we're given an opportunity to say, let this down, download this zip file here. All right, so here's another website, or the Android file host. All right, in this one, you see a bunch of jargon as well and everything. Well, if you scroll down, you see start download, begin download. When you click that, it's going to take 10 seconds if you're not um, uh, you know, registered to this, or 5 seconds if you are, Okay. Once again, if you look right here, there's your MD5. Move it a little. There's your MD5, okay? These are mirrors. Now this is download, start download, download ready. Here are your mirrors. Hit the primary download, let it download, and enjoy. So now let's say we are here. See, once again, it wants me to go places, but we don't want to do that. You just got to be careful what you're doing. I know I'm clicking a little fast, but I just don't like when it starts to try to automatically download. Okay, now that you see that, you've downloaded your file, where is it gone? Okay, well, you need to go to, I like the ES File Explorer here, okay? You have a download here, and some people, when you click here, you'll have an external card, okay? But most of the time, it's going to go to your, sorry about that, it's going to go to your standard SD, which is internal. You want to roll over to download. Here you go. 
it's probably going to end up here. Now, I've already previously downloaded this into here. All right, here is the new uh, download that I, let's say I had just created, or it just came down onto my device. So, hold it, check it. You hold it down your finger on it until the checkbox checks. Go down here to more, hit properties. Now, under these properties, it'll tell you, of course, the size and everything cool. It says file checksum. Hit show checksum. Hit MD5. And then hit calculate. All right, it should only take about a second for a Nexus device because they're so powerful. There you go. And it says, like, you know, F4C2F173. Write that number down or try to copy and paste it somewhere. If you go to the actual download website, there you go. I'm going to highlight so you can see it better. There you go. F4C2F173. It's, it's identical. You need to have it identical in order to do what you need to do with it. So now that you know, oops, sorry about that. Now that you know that it's here, you just cancel out of that, cancel out of that. You know where it's at. I've got it in this folder under download, under SD card, okay? So that's pretty much the gist of a download. The two main websites you saw there are practically where you're going to download most of your stuff from. So flashing. When you go back into your custom recovery, we're going to. Let's go ahead and I'm going to go to reboot and then I'm going to go to my recovery. Now that we're in our recovery, when I say, hey, I need you to flash a file, install, it's pretty much the same thing. You would go here, you would pick what you want, whatever it would be. You know, let's say it's um, this one. Okay. Down here says swipe to confirm flash. When I say flash, that means you get the file here, you're ready to go, everything is where it came, you know, the, the exact file that has been requested, and you swipe to confirm flash, okay? It's right there under install. And of course, you've got wipe, you know, like if I say do a factory reset, or do, you know, wipe something on your phone or your device, okay? Backing up, like backing up your system once again. We've gone through that before, and of course, restore. Here's all kinds of... Uh, and Androids that I've backed up to restore. So I hope this works out. It's just real simple about downloading, where it's going, where it's coming from, how to understand the download websites when some people have asked, hey, I can't click on this or that. Why is and things aren't downloading? Other things are just popping up. That's it's just what happens. You know, when there's a lot of advertisements involved with putting our files onto a download website server or something so or a cloud where it can hold all of our information for you all the viewers to download so i hope you all enjoyed this video um got a little bit of an insight on how this works y'all take care and enjoy doing what you do with your with your uh, devices